This stuff is awesome. It is powder watercolor. So I'm going to spray um, some water onto my page and I'm spraying it because I want the pigment to be both kind of like, I want it to be in some areas drier than others because it reacts differently. You'll see what I mean. I'll show you how this magic works. So I'm going to spray my page from a distance and then I'm going to open this guy up. Be careful. So they look like little tiny, like it looks kind of like little tiny sand. Whoops, there you go. So I'm going to take a little bit of it and then I'm just going to tap the side and kind of let it fall where it will. And then after it grabs the area that's wet, I can um, shake it off to get the excess off, but you can see how it reacts. Also, you can take your spray bottle and spray it again and see what ends up happening. So it's really fun to play with. And then um, I'll do the same with this purple color in some spots. This is a really fun one if you like painting galaxies because it really does do that seamless blend. I used a lot. <laughs> you don't have to use that much. But then um, if you want to after that, you can also kind of push it and act, you know, use it as watercolor. So that makes for a really interesting effect. And see, okay, so what I was talking about was the reason I wanted to spray it first and then lay pigment. So this area here is really, really textured and looks like, um, it looks like powder and it is. Now, if because I didn't shake that off right away, it's actually already wet. So it's going to adhere as is. That's what I wanted to go for because it makes it, so the more it sprays, the more it, you know, goes out. Um, but you see these swirls, like it's, it's a matter of like ratio. Um, if I was using this for watercolor painting of some kind, this is wrong. This is not how you want to use this product. But because I'm using it for what I'm using it for, um, those really concentrated areas are going to come out really cool. And then you can see the outside here where this uh, powder is kind of being sprayed outward or there's just a little bit of it. So like I'll do a little bit and you'll see how much, you can't even probably see that what I'm doing, but when I spray it, look at that. Okay, so if you want it to be a lot lighter, it's literally dust. You're just putting dust on there and then spraying it. Magic! This stuff is so cool. Also, I just drenched this page and it's mixed media paper, so it's not gonna be very happy with me. Also, do not unless you don't care about how it's gonna look, try to take your page off while it's still wet. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. You can see it's, it's pretty wet, but there are a lot of really cool textures going on.